name's Katie Arnston, if you don't already know that. Um, I'm in my second year of university. I'm studying contemporary dance. And on July 14th, I was diagnosed with melanoma, which is a scary word for skin cancer. Um, this has been really tough, but I am so ready to fight back and kick this thing's ass. <laughs> um, I start chemo in a few weeks, and so I'm, I'm posting this to uh, somewhat awkwardly ask for financial support. So this campaign is getting going because um, my doctor tells me that during chemo I, I'm not going to be able to work or um, maybe even get out of bed. So, um, sorry. Um, so I'm going to have to quit my job. Yeah, for those of you who do know me, um, you know how hard this is for me to ask I, and I can't. Uh, I can't believe I actually have to do this, but in this case, it, it may actually save my life. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hugs, good vibes. Um, I'm just going to try and keep smiling. And love you guys. Hi, everybody. It's Mark from the Cinemondo podcast with another Cinemondo shortcut. That's Kathy from Cinemondo. Say hey. Hi, it's Kathy. <laughs> and we're doing our first kind of like dual uh, shortcut. So just a quick <laughs> sort of review of a movie we both saw. Uh, and Burke will do these too, but uh, he didn't see this particular one. And this is a film that we got a screener for. Um, it's called White Lie. It came out in 2019. It's a Canadian film. And uh, Kathy watched it a few weeks ago, and I just watched it a few days ago, and we'd like to talk about it. So, Kathy, why don't you take it away? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it, it stars um, Casey Roll, and she's a university student who fakes a cancer diagnosis to basically as a way to make money and kind of get some notoriety. Like she sort of start, she started it to sort of help pay bills. And then she sort of got kind of too into it. She started really thinking that this is an, uh, like an important thing she's doing. And it's almost like she almost believes her own press. Um, but she really like starts enjoying the attention and the sympathy way too much. And then it becomes eventually as she's trying to apply to go to uh, another school or um I forget exactly where she was applying to. It's been a few few weeks. But it's starting to unravel. The lie is sort of starting to unravel. Like she doesn't quite have the medical records to back it up. So she, she starts trying to, you know, bring people into the circle to help her, you know, scam everyone, you know, to make the lie bigger and bigger and bigger. I would call this a super cringy, really <laughs> well made. Like you're just like, oh my God, I can't believe she's doing this. It's really, really hard to watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I felt the same way. Like I said, it was like, um, uh, I want to put myself, hold on a second here. Uh, <laughs> cut, <there>. cut. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what happened to me? <laughs> and see what happens when two of us do these? We're out of control. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, what I, what I liked about it was if the first scene, she, she's there in the bathroom and she's shaving her head. Okay, and she knows how to. She, she's doing it the right way, and she's and you immediately think, well, what is she doing? Okay, first you think she's just shaving her head because that's the, her style, and then the, then she goes to this sort of fundraising event where she's taking pictures with with people, and you real and it's like you know, you realize oh she's gaming the system, trying and making get making money off people who are you know. Um, wanting to give to her cause because she obviously is faking cancer and right there the squirming starts and that's just the very tip of the iceberg and then it starts getting more and more intense and you're just going deeper and deeper into the hole this this big ruse this big con that she's been doing for for a while and there's a great scene with martin donovan who's always good you know i was about to bring that up because that was my favorite scene yeah. it was so cathartic and necessary Yes. And I love they put it almost right in the middle. They put right in the middle, and he's he plays her father, and he knows immediately that you know he's she's coming there for some money because of some, you know some tests to go to Seattle for this you know experimental uh, cancer test, and he just sees right through it because she's done this before. Just calls yeah. the bullshit and just like lays into her, like saying everything you wanted to say. 
I'm like, God, woman, God. Right. I mean, it was right. so frustrating to watch. And it was really cathartic to hear him just lay it all out exactly, telling exactly what she was doing, which right. you feel like nobody really got until he said that. Yeah, because everybody else was sort of like, I mean, when I, if I was friends with her, I guess, or in a relationship with her, mm -hmm. I would say, I would want to go to the doctor. Let, what does the doctor have to say? But she gets her way out of it. Like, you know, and, and then, but she realizes, Hey, I can't, you know, can't squirm out of this. I need, I need to get fake paperwork. I need to get money. I need to do this and that. And it just spirals out of current control, but it's extremely well acted. Casey Roll, yes, who plays really the main character. She plays uh, Katie. Mm -hmm. She's great. And I remember her from Hannibal. Um, and she was a good act. She was a good role in that. But this is her, this is her performance. It just it's really funny too. Cause even in Hannibal, like she was the one little, cause Hannibal's very theatrical. It's one of my favorite shows ever. I mean, it's just a masterpiece, but she was the one thing in the show that was sort of playing this really gritty, underplayed, fragile, vulnerable, you know, scared woman. Nobody else in the in the show was playing for real. Like they were all being very theatrical and very pretentious. That was the whole point. So it was interesting. I think it made it even more powerful to have her as this little center of gravity for you. And so now in this, it's like she just takes that to the nth degree. Like she's going full on, like vulnerable. You feel bad for her, but you just wonder, God, just just be honest. You're just begging her to just come out of it, but she just won't. She just can't. She won't. She, oh, she, it's so yeah, it's pretty powerful he, stuff yeah and it's just the whole way through and we won't give away story points but it's yeah. just it's a uh, it's a really gripping film mm -hmm. i mean it really is kind of a gripping uh tension filled thriller in yeah. a way you know you it know, really was because there's so much suspense of waiting for her to get caught like every little it was almost like you know there's a crime happening and you're like oh no are they gonna get caught through the whole thing these little tiny moments little, getting closer yeah. and closer oh right she goes into <laughs> like a you know a, a doctor's office and that's an intense scene she goes to you know speak to somebody else and she, you know that she's not telling the truth nope. and there's i also think the other characters uh, play it perfectly they they sort of like question her like that doesn't quite ring true but you yeah. can't be lying to me you know you because it would never like you're no one would do this who would do this who would right. lie about having cancer and right. like shave their head on purpose and get super like she she would starve herself so she stayed really skinny and she she just really played it and you, you just would never and you would even feel guilty even thinking it of someone like exactly. it, it even she, is relying on people to do the right thing. And she <laughs> knew that. Worse. And that was her biggest card. It's like, of course mm -hmm. you're going to believe me because who else would really do this? But exactly. I'm the one who's doing it. And so it's really good. It was um, written and it's a 2019 Canadian film. It was written and directed by uh, Yona Lewis and Calvin Thomas. And I think it's won some awards up there mm -hmm. and it's just starting. I, I, I'm not sure this, the release date, but it's coming soon as far as when the film is available to watch here in the U S yeah. but highly recommended. Yeah, I do too. Really good. The, the idea of watching a movie about someone faking cancer doesn't sound fun, but this is actually really well made and you're real. It's, it's so compelling. I, I would definitely recommend it. And I'm not a big you know, watching people, you know, being sick, which she technically isn't, but you're still in that world. But it was really, really good. I, I was yeah, really, and impressed. I was a little, there's a little trepidation for me too. And I and you know, Kathy watched it before I did, but they said, I'm going to watch this. And I was mm -hmm. like, ten, five, literally five minutes yeah. in, I got what's going on and I went for the ride. It's a real ride. Right. It took me a little while too, because I was like, someone pretending to have cancer, that does not sound fun. <laughs> and then you're watching and go, wow, that's kind of amazing. <laughs> so I, I really liked it. So I recommend yeah. it. We do too. So, uh, Cinematic Shark, it's big, you know, happy. <laughs> See White Lie. It's uh, when it comes out, it, 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 I'm sure it'll be everywhere streaming. So we are not we're lying right. about it. We're, we're not, not lying. lying. Telling the truth. Where? This is not a scam. <laughs> the truth. And right. uh, check out our other shortcuts on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, mm -hmm. like, and comment. We're putting on new uh, stuff all the time. We love doing these shortcuts because, you know, they're quick and easy and in and out, and you. Yeah, we just do them when we can, and you know, not all the time. We're not all available at the same time, so it's kind of nice just to do them. And we're know, trying to do we... stuff that you know is not uh, not uh, not the major stuff, some smaller yeah. stuff. We do a little bit of everything, but this one is a movie you're going to have to you know search out, but it's well worth the search. And if you have a suggestion of something like that, just send it to cinemondopodcast at gmail dot com, and we will possibly review it as a shortcut. We'd love to. We'd love Yay. to hear the comments and, <laughs> and suggestions. So thanks very much for listening. Thanks, you guys. We'll be back soon. Hey, okay. bye. Bye.